that news is absurd and insane. Only a deranged people, or rather a deranged person, can manufacture such a lie. It's vicious, it's malicious, and you're here with me in my home, in my country home, or uh, my husband and I had uh, exercised a civil resp civic responsibility. We've just voted, and everything was done peacefully. People are, are voting, no wahala, and we're here, relaxing, chilling. For anyone to put up that kind of, of video just to damage our reputation, I think uh, it will not work. It's not going to work, no matter how hard they try to bring us down. It will not work. It's an exercise in futility. Interestingly, we were at all an embarrassment. It, it, it was. It was a shock. And um, I was a little bit upset. And I said, was it not same channels that interviewed my husband? I was standing beside him. How could that possibly be? And immediately we uh, put a call to the GM and I said, how could your channel be um, spreading this kind of falsehood? But immediately they didn't waste time. I must also appreciate them for doing that. They put up uh, a disclaimer and stamped a big fake <laughs> stamp on that video. So, well, politics in Nigeria, I'm hopeful that uh, in due course we'll do things much, much in a civilized manner. These are sore losers trying to create confusion all over the place, but they aren't, they aren't, they aren't going to succeed. Um, feelers from the field indicate that people are exercising their franchise in a peaceful manner, in a peaceful atmosphere. So, but with this interview, uh, I want to believe that uh, we will succeed in debunking the lies, because this will also go viral as uh, the one earlier posted on social media. So I appreciate Channel 4 swinging into action to put up a disclaimer to the falsehood. Mm -hmm.